Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at a room called Hacked, which is a tri -hack me room. So let's begin with the first task. So this task gives us a PCAP ng file so we can use Wireshark to analyze it. So let's read the first prompt. It seems that our machine got hacked by an anonymous threat actor. However, we are lucky to have a PCAP file of the attack. So you can determine what happened, uh, download the PCAP ng file and use Wireshark to view it. I have already downloaded it. So let's use Wireshark to analyze it. So there it is. Since there are a few questions. So first what I'll be doing is I'll be going, I'll be right clicking it and going to follow and follow TCP stream. So this gives us essentially whatever the actor did. So let's open it up. There we go. The attacker is trying to log in into a specific service, what service it is. So as you can see from the first line, hello FTP world. So the service is going to be FTP. There is a very popular tool by Van Hauser, uh, which can be used to brute force a series of services. What is the name of the tool? So let's use Google. Copy it, paste it in Google. There it is. I have already seen it. So the tool which I came across was Hydra. So he was the developer of Hydra. So we'll be typing in Hydra. The attacker is trying to log on with a specific username. What is the name of the, what is the username? So as you can see, the password changes, but the username stays the same, which is Jenny. So there we go. It is Jenny. What is the user's password? So seems like he has been using Hydra to brute force the login credentials. So let's see if we get something. No login incorrect, 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 successful. Okay, so this is the, I think this was the password. So password one, two, three. What is the current FTP working directory after the tracker gets logged in? So let's see. I think it, he was using threading. So there are a lot of incorrect credentials after we get the correct one. So there it is. The current directory is var www.html. There we go. The attacker uploaded a backdoor. What is the backdoor's file, um, file name? So as you can see, he uses a command called store and the file he used was shell.php. So this is the backdoor so i think he was using shell.php to upload it to ftp which was directly connected to the web server and then he called it using http and he got the backdoor so the backdoor can be downloaded from a specific url as it is located inside the uploaded file what is the full url okay so the first thing that we get is pen test monkey so if you ever want to get a reverse shell you can contact this site. It is a really good site. You get many, many uh, backdoors. So this is the file uh, URL. Paste it over here. Okay, so which command did the attacker manually execute after getting the reverse shell? Okay, so this was the reverse shell. He made a HTTP get request to that specific shell. And the first command he used was who am I after getting the reverse shell? And what is the computer's host name? That shouldn't be tough. And you can see he's getting a proper shell over here by using Python 3 import PTY, PTY.spawn, bin bash. This essentially is called the www data is called the username. And wire 3 is called the host name. Whatever that follow whatever follows after the at the rate is the host name. So wire 3. Which command does the attacker execute? to spawn a new TTY shell and as you can see this was the command used so let's paste it which command was executed to get a root shell so as you can see he logged in as Jenny and then he used sudo su but before he typed in sudo l so when he used sudo tag l he got all the commands that could be run as user Jenny and as you can see he could use all the commands which was a vulnerability which command was executed to gain root shell so this was used to get the root shell because after this we are getting root so sudo su 
the attacker downloaded something from github which is the name of the github project okay so git clone https github.com this is the name of the project and this is the name of the file reptile.git so let's type in or let's paste it okay for button is not it so let's use a reptile reptile Oh, this is worth it the project can be used to install a stealthy backdoor on the system can it can be very hard to detect what is the name of the backdoor called let's see let's go to the github repository Okay, config school user land. What was the question again? The project can be used to install a stealthy backdoor on the system. What is this type of backdoor called? So let's take in the hand because we are noobs right over here. A certain type of kit. So can we call it rootkit? And there it is. So rootkit. So basically, what is a rootkit is uh basically there are many type of backdoors. One of them is rootkit. So rootkit goes to the kernel level and this can help it bypass all the antiviruses so as you can see there was a folder by the name of kernel as well so this is where i got the hint from okay let's see task 2 hack your way back into the machine deploy the machine we have already done it the flag is located in root reptile directory remember you can always look back at the pkng file if necessary good luck run hydra on the ftp service the attacker might not have chosen a complex password Okay, so he has changed the password essentially. You might get lucky if you use a common word list. So the most common word list used in Linux systems is RockU. And change the necessary values inside the web shell and upload it to the web server. But let's first use FTP to brute force the login credentials. FTP, oh, Hydra, sorry. Hydra tag l name of the username jenny tag p for the password file documents register wordless proc u okay so the ip address now let's copy it and ftp there we go shouldn't take much time as it as it said that the password is common and not a complex one Let's wait. So as you can see, the password was indeed not a complex one. The password is 9875643211. So, so now what we'll be doing is we'll be logging into FTB and uploading our backdoor. And once when we have uploaded the backdoor, we'll be going to the website and calling it from here. But before that, we need a backdoor so we can use php reverse shell this is it pen text monkey this is where he got it from so this is the php reverse shell you can copy it over here and download it i have already downloaded it so this is the reverse shell you, what you need to do is you need to change the port number i have not changed it because i wish to call it from one two three four and you need to change the ip variable to your ip address so i've already done it let's use ftp jenny nine eight seven six five four three two one and let's let's see the contents first okay there are two contents what is index.html and the second is shell.php and shell.php has too many permissions i think he has used chmod 777 so that anyone could call it okay so what we'll be doing is we'll be using a command put rce.php and we have uploaded it as you can see we get rce but we do not have specific permissions these permissions are for the root user 
and as we can see there is only the permissions are as read and write so we cannot execute it so for that we can type chmod 777 rce.php now if you see we have all the permissions so now what we can do is we can go to the back to our own directory and now we can use netcat dot nlvp and if you remember the port i selected was one two three four i have set up a listener and rce dot php and we get a reverse shell so now what we'll be doing is we'll be changing our shell type so python 3 taxi import pty pty dot spawn slash bin slash bash okay p okay i typed in pyt so let's use python 3 taxi import pty pty dot spawn bin bash now we are entered as www data and the same host name wire 3 so let's read the next instructions now we have set up a listener and we have connected it to it and become root so now we have to become root so first of all let's try to replicate the steps that uh, the attacker used so let's use wireshark let's follow tcp stream this was it he git cloned it and after that no but before that he entered as jenny so let's see if that is available to us so jenny password is 9876543211 and we have entered as jenny so let's try to see our privileges sudo tag l 9876543211 and the same thing the users doesn't seem to have changed anything over here we have everything available to us and we can run it as root so let's type in sudo su and we are entered as root so who am i i am root so let's go to root ls cd reptile and cat flag and there it is this is the flag for the challenge guys so let's paste it over here completed and we are done so thank you guys this is it for the video i hope you liked it if you did like it please press on the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you